Welcome back to PKRC. Um, this is my second unboxing video. Um, you've probably noticed it's a bold title. This is why I've said best budget basher. Um, I'm UK based. Um, this is an FTX Carnage 2.0. Uh, now FTX is a brand in the UK available from any good hobby shop or model shop as we call them. Um, spares are dead easy. Dead easy to get. Um, back up from the distributor of FTX, a company called CML, and they have the best customer service I've dealt with for anything. Not just RC, they're just fantastic in my opinion. Um, so yeah, you've got that covered. Yeah, you can probably get cars of a similar spec for a little bit less money from China. And you can probably get all the spares from them as well, again, from China. Um, I've bought this for my son though. Um, if he breaks something, I don't want to tell him it's going to be two weeks waiting for it coming when I've ordered it off Banggood or wherever. Um, so yeah, that's why we've gone for this. Uh, price of these at the time of filming, around about 120 quid, I think these are. Um, I've bought a whole load of other stuff from the shop at the same time, so I'm not really sure exactly, but I think that's what they are, about 120 quid. Um, it's a brushed 4x4 ready to run, uh, brushed motor, so it's not going to be lightning fast. Uh, I've bought this for my son, as I've said. Um, you just will forget about that because Billy's only five. But he's got quite a bit of experience, if you look at my other videos, uh, bashing around with Tamiers and stuff like that. He's not managed to do any major damage to them, so I'm hoping this is alright. Uh, main features on the front of the box, four wheel drive, shaft driven, brushed motor, ready to run, 2.4 radio and it's waterproof. So uh, without further ado we'll get straight into the box because I'm not going to show you around all the box because um, well you can do that in the shop you can look at the box. Uh, anyway cut these seals and get into the box. Oh, a load of spiel on the back. What's it going? 99.9% ready to run. Did well there. I read that off here. That's German. Uh, three channel, 2.4, 60 amp speed controller, 550 motor, 1800 milliamp hour battery. Yeah, yeah we'll get into it. Let's have a look. Uh, genuine first look for me. Oh, that looks good. Put that box down over there. See, it's uh, nicely tucked in there. So I'll make a fool of myself getting this out. So I'll slide this over there and wiggle some of these boxes out. First box. Let me see this okay on the camera. Yeah, I think we can see this all right. I'll just put this little lamp on so we can see a bit better down here. So I'm guessing this is transmitted. In fact, I can see it's the transmitter. Little wheel sticking out. Anything else in here? That's a big box for a transmitter, and that's all that's in it. Chuck that over there. Right, so transmitter. Uh, Billy's just joined us in the garage to see this coming out of the box, and he's noticed we have got one of these transmitters for his lunchbox. I think that one's bro branded as a Code RC. So I already know that wants four AA batteries in it. Don't think they're supplied, but we've got stacks of AA batteries here. Uh, what else have we got in here? Before we get the car out, another empty box. I think that's just protect the car and the packaging. Uh, manual wall charger. Um, yeah, it looks like it's on a Tamiya plug. And then, the main event, here is the FTX Carnage 2.0. So yeah, here's the uh, Carnage 2. Put these other boxes over there as well. Throw them, Billy's joined me now, he's having a real close look now we've got to the exciting bit. Quite a cool looking body show. I've seen the, um, well they feel quite nice. Phones in the tyres. Uh, 
Brought some sprockers. Some gunk on these. I don't know what that is. Tyres are glued. There's something on that. It's wiping off. But by the time they've been covered in mud, I think we'll be all right. Okay. Just having a look myself. I say I'm not that familiar with the carnage range. Just my local shop, uh, PBM. I know they sell a ton of these things. Um, and I know the carnage has been a, a good selling model in the UK for a number of years now. Put the body clips off. Well, be, uh, I really like this truck style body. It's um, yeah, Lexan type body. Oh, it's that printed PVC type. What I'd recommend with a basher, one of these kind of bodies, is uh, some Gorilla Tape around the inside. So this is Billy's, so we'll be definitely doing that. Yeah, pass me that, Billy. Let's. If you don't know, this is Gorilla Tape. It's like gaffer tape, but loads better. It's like a really thick, durable tape. You stick it on the inside of uh, a Lexan body and it'll make it stronger. Other way of doing it, a bit more complicated, is to use um, like plasterers scrim tape or drywall tape, as you might know it, and um, then a load of shoe goo smeared over the drywall tape reinforces the body quite well as well. But it's a lot messier and, yeah, nothing's going to make them last forever. So, looking at the car, what we got? Um, three channel receiver, there's your ESC, 550 size motor with a nice big heat sink on it, um, metal drive shaft, um, if we can see in there under this central, can we see that, let's have a look on camera, oh, you might just see it there, the blue line down the middle of the, see I see aluminium centre drive shaft, uh, see it's got a slipper clutch, uh, all metal adjustable links with the suspension, oil filled shocks, they feel quite good. Uh, we've got the NIM battery that's included, that's in there. It's on a Tamiya plug, that'll be going. Um, yeah, all in all, feels really nice, tyres feel nice. Not quite sure what this gunk is on the wheels. It's, I think it's some residue from where they've glued the tyres, but the type of car it is, um, won't be long before they're all scratched and scuffed up anyway. So yeah, I've just brought the camera a bit closer on the tripod, I'm just going to uh, rip out this included battery. It looks like a nickel metal eye drive battery, I'm not a fan of them. But it's nice that you get it, uh, 7.2 volt, 1800 milliamp hour. Um, all our stuff runs. Uh, we run lipos on all our stuff with Dean's connectors, so as I say, I'll probably be changing that to invalidate my warranty. And uh, we'll be running it on a 2S lipo. That's how you get the battery in and out. Nice and simple. Um, don't really know what else to say about it. For 100 quid or thereabouts, I'm uh, pretty chuffed with it. It seems to be... Uh, Really well built. Shocks feel really nice, actually. Yeah, they feel really good. It's going to jump well, this one, Billy. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I'm dead impressed that all the drive shafts seem to be metal. Um, yeah. Right, so that's your FTX Carnage version 2. Um, so, just over a hundred quid. I don't think you can go wrong for that money. Your 2.4 radio. It even comes with a battery. I mean, it's a NIM battery. It's only 1800 milliamp, but it'll get you going. Um, yeah, I don't know, don't know what else to say about it. Shocks feel really good. I think the body looks really cool. All metal drive line, big 550 motor. It's not gonna set any speed records being a brush truck, but, um, yeah, overall, very, very happy with that for the price. Um, I'm sure Billy's going to love it. Keep, uh, well, like and subscribe the video if it's been any help at all for you. 
um, within the next few days we'll probably have a running video up as well um, thanks for watching again like and subscribe so yeah we've uh, you've just seen us unbox this uh, just a little bit of head uh, this is what i was talking about with the gorilla tape i just line as much of the inside of the body all the corners and things where i think it's going to take a knock um, just find it helps strengthen them up as i say the the probably the best way of doing it is with the plasterous scrim tape or drywall tape and shoe goo but it takes a lot longer and it's a lot more messy uh, but it is probably a stronger end result but well, this has taken like 10 minutes a few bits of gorilla tape and it does make a massive difference as i say probably not as good as the scrim tape or the drywall tape and the shoe goo but that's my way of doing it it's worked quite well for me so far um yeah just just that's how i do it again thanks for watching if it's been any use at all to you this video like and subscribe thank you very much